that you've got 10 bucks worth of attention. Um, when, you're, when you're leaned over in a turn, your contact patch on your tire is, is reduced drastically. Okay? So you've just spent a lot of that $10 worth of your attention because you have to use a lot more attention to make sure that you're doing the right thing so that you don't overwhelm that small contact patch. So if, if you're carrying big speeds and really leaning the bike and leaning the bike over, all you're doing is reducing the amount of inputs that you can put on the bike. You're reducing the amount of acceleration that you can put into the bike. You're reducing the amount of braking that you can do to the bike. And you're, redu and you're increasing the amount of tension you have, you have to spend on what you're doing at that point. You have to be, you're taking it down to a point where you basically have to be very close to perfect to make sure that you don't wreck. Body position is one key thing that helps that. It helps you gain a lot more tension because when, the reason you're hanging off is not to drag your knee. The reason you hang off a bike is so that you can push that bike back up a little bit more so that you can get a bigger contact patch on the front and rear tire. If we have a big contact patch on the front, what can we do with that? More braking. More braking, exactly. Your, your braking is, is on your front tire. Um, if you have a bigger contact patch, you can add more braking in and, and have a lot more control of it. If you're leaned over real far, let's say, let's come, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm picking on turn one today. Let's say uh, turn one, you're leaned over real far and you're on the outside line, how much braking can you do? Not a whole lot, right? But if you take the inside line and you do all your braking here, well, pretty, much, pretty much all your braking before you turn, how much braking can you add into that bike? You can add a heck of a lot of braking. So you may drag a knee on the outside line, but you're not going any faster. And the thing is, if when you do drag, you know, when you, when you are getting off the bike, you're pushing your bike up as much as possible. That way you can accelerate as well. So not only you're braking, but, but your acceleration. Um, you see the guys, the, the MotoGP guys, and, and their, their body position looks extreme. I mean, you know, you see them, you know, one arm on the tank, and they're all the way over. It's almost like there's nothing besides their leg and they're like if they're going in the left there's nothing besides their, their right leg and their right arm on the bike pretty much I mean, everything else is pretty much off that's what they're doing is they're trying to get the bike upright as much as possible so they can feed in more throttle the more contact patch that you have front and rear the, the more inputs you can add, you can add. so um, with your body position getting better you typically tend to drag your knee less because that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to push the bike up which so that you can throw on the exit of the corner so that you can roll in throttle. When you push the bike up, it actually you know brings you up along with it too. Your knee's not near the ground there as much. Um, I, I can tell you, it, uh, Eagles Canyon, for example, I can go out there and, and run uh, level three pace all day long. I think there's only two corners I ever touch a knee down and I just kind of barely break it.